yes, there are times na I feel tired. There are times na I get discouraged. And uh, there are a lot of people who ask me why I chose to do this instead of pursuing a successful career in the corporate world. Why did I give up a job that gave me stability, that gave me money, that gave me career progress, and trade that for something na hindi sure, something na hindi stable, something na hindi ko alam kung hanggang kailan ko kaya ang gawin. Why, why do I do all of those things? I think my goal is simple. The goal is help as many deserving people reach their dreams. And if at the end of the day I can look at myself and say na I did that, that would be enough. That would be more than enough. So yes, this is one team. Not because I have a team behind. Because you are all here, so you are team, I'm just your coach, and I'm going to do all I could to help you achieve your dreams, not just for yourself, but for your family, and I'm just grateful that I get to do that. Hi team, can you see me? Can you hear me? Are you there? All right. So uh, this is going to be a little challenging. Uh, nandito ako sa sa laptop record Tapos dun ako sa PC ko nagtitingin ng comments niyo kasi I can't do both. And uh, I'm going to try my best to make this work. Uh, I'm also trying this out kasi uh, iniisip ko na uh, pag malapit na yung review season. Uh, we can do this then. Parang uh, sa siguro I'll try at least once a week. Maybe we can do that para um, yun para rin kayo na review with me live. So yun nga, yung goal natin. Pero if nakikita niyo yung mga kidlat kidlat, please bear with me. Uh, I'm I've been trying to fix that issue. Ayon yata talaga dito kasi sa aking computer. I'm still learning how to use the Mac, kaya hindi ko pa siya si switch ni pa yun yung ginagamit natin ngayon. So hopefully that fixes the issue. Um, but for now, please, please, muna tayo, uh, kung ano yung meron tayo ngayon. So, just uh, a few of your messages, hintayin lang natin yung ibang late pa. Uh, si Tashima, hi! Si RJ, hi from Laguna. Hi there, uh, I can't wait to go back there. I love Laguna, very chill lang yung environment. So, gusto ko mag-stay doon. Actually, I'm thinking na if I am going to write my my book, I may have to stay there for a week or so. Narinig niyo pa ako, by the way? Can you hear me well? Kasi I'm, I'm using my uh, my headset. So, if you can hear me, that's good. If you see pala na nagpapalit-palit na, na mamatay-matay yung video, uh, kasi inire-reset ko siya para hindi masyadong ma-flicker kasi baka mahilo kayo. So, yun yung reason kung bakit may ganun. Um, what else we have? Jejo, Tan, hi. Mark, hi. Good evening then. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Mildred. Hi, Lynn. Hi, John. Kamusta na? Hi, Grishel, Mark. Medyo mahina daw ang sound. So, tingnan natin kung anong magagawa natin. Can you hear it ba? Okay. Tingnan natin. So, mahina rin ba yung speaker sa inyo? Let me know ha, para ano, para malaman natin kung may mga adjustments ako kailangan gawin. Ayan. Ayan, medyo mahina daw ang sound. 
Okay, tingnan natin kung nailalapit ko tong ano. Paano ba to? Okay na ba? Uh, we have to, I have to be sure na okay para bago ko kayo, bago, bago ko simulan yung lesson proper. So, can you hear me? Na, as long as naintindihan ninyo ako, okay lang yan. Adjust nyo na lang sa, sa device nyo rin. Kakaisa ka yung flicker na yan. Wala tayong magagawa. Peace-peace lang muna tayo, guys. Um, hopefully, maayos din yan soon. Alright. Okay. So, medyo marami-rami na kayo. There are 23 of you watching already. So, Lynn, Bren. Loud and clear daw kay Donna. Alright. So, we can uh, move along. So, there are just a few things also na I want you to know um, before we go on dun sa ating lesson proper. Ayan. So, if you paid uh, yung para sa inyong reviewer uh, this week, it's going to be shipped out on Friday. So, dapat uh, bukas, kaya lang medyo nauubos yung stock. So, uh, we're going to leave stock tomorrow so we can ship it out ng sabay-sabay on Friday. You'll probably get it uh, you'll probably get it by Saturday or Sunday or Monday. Okay? Yun usually yung mga uh, dates na nakukuha yung mga reviewers. So, you just uh, wait for that. Um, yun. Yan. Ang cut-off natin is tomorrow, so if you pay until tomorrow, makakahabol pa doon sa shipping sa Friday yung inyong reviewers. Um, another thing, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be out of town next week, so I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be in Malaysia from November 22 ano ba ako? November 22 ba yun? Yeah, November 22 hanggang 26, I think. I'm going to be in Malaysia, so I won't be here. Uh, so, ang shipping natin next week will be early. Uh, hindi tayo magpapaship ng medyo late. Uh, hindi tayo magpapaship ng Friday. Probably, ang shipping natin next week would be Tuesday or Wednesday. So, yeah, bear that in mind. After that, next week na uli yung uli yung shipping. So, that's it for that. Um, another thing... Uh, I already posted pala yung poll for how for how you want me to name yung aking bagong MacBook Pro. So, ang ating options, we have Gray, um, we have Eli, Steve, and um, what's the other one? Silver. So, yun yung options. You can vote sa channel natin to, yun, kung gusto nyo yung pangalanan yung aking MacBook Pro. So far, ngayon, ang labang ay si Steve, which I'm happy about kasi si Steve, not really Steve Jobs in the person behind Apple products, but uh, Steve kasi is a stranger thing, so I, I'm crushing a little bit on Steve from stranger things, although he, although he's a little younger than me. Um, another thing I really want you guys to know is yung ating 15,000 subscriber giveaway. So this is the first giveaway I think I'm going to do in a while. Um, this giveaway is for you guys who are subscribed to the channel and who are going to comment on the videos that I make. So, if you comment on any of the videos, uh, you're going to be included in the raffle. Uh, ang jersey number ko kasi is 15. So, 15 yung jersey number ko sa basketball when I used to play. 15 yung parang pinaka-favorite number ko. So, we are nasa 14,000 tayo na subscribers ngayon. So, 14,600-ish tayo na subscribers. So, when we hit 15,000, I'm going to do a giveaway. Uh, so, yun. Ibig sabihin, pag nag-50,000 tayo na subscribers sa YouTube channel, uh, I'm going to announce yung mechanics on how you can join the giveaway. Siyempre, ipapamigay ko yung reviewers. So, if you are someone who can't afford the reviewers or hindi nyo kaya ang bilin, uh, then I'm going to have them shipped out to you for free. Yeah, you just need to join that giveaway. So, try your best then, if you could, to tell your other friends about our team. Ask them to subscribe to the channel. Kasi every time mag-hit tayo ng 5,000, magpapamigay ako ng bagong reviewers. So, that's just a little bit of my thank you rin sa inyo sa lahat ng mga support na binibigay niyo sa akin. So, that's exciting. Alright. So, yan. Ilay daw ang vote ni Mark. Hi from Cebu. Sabi ni John. Tapos, na late ako magtingin. Okay lang, Lloyd. Uh, hindi pa tayo nagsistart ng proper lesson kasi nga naghihintay pa tayo ng ibang mga uh, wala pa rin ngayon. I know uh, a few are still, a few of you are still having dinner siguro, kaya wala pa. So, okay. Another thing I want to talk to you about is yung 
ayan, yung aking personal channel. So, um, ang thing kasi is, and I want you guys to respond din, ha? let me know what you think. Um, dun, dun kasi sa aking, sa, dito sa Team Laika channel, I try to keep all the content related sa civil service exam or sa upkat, lae, all of the exams, all the math videos, English videos, logic videos. All of them are here in the official Team Laika channel. Um, however, uh, since some of you, lalo na yung mga nakapasa na, they ask me na parang, Coach, uh, namimiss ko si Haley, yung aso ko, or namimiss ko kayo, or maybe bring us with you when you go ano, out of town. Yung mga ganong, mga ganong klaseng request. Um, I started making vlogs then as well. But, um, ang nangyari kasi, napapansin ko, pag may pinost ako na hindi math or language or logic, may ibang mga comments na medyo harsh. So, hindi nyo na sila nakikita kasi tinatanggal ko sila. Pero yung iba, nagagalit kasi, uh, yun, hindi daw nakatulong sa kanila yung personal kong buhay. Ayaw nilang marinig yung nangyayari sa buhay ko, parang ganun. So, I posted yung nangyayari sa YouTube next up, dito sa Team Laika channel. Tapos, even there, at saka dun sa, nung, nag, nung pinakita ko sa inyo yung aking lap, uh, bagong MacBook Pro, ay may mga nagalit na basically tumahimik na lang ako at uh, magturo na lang ako kasi mas gusto nila yon kesa dun sa yun, personal na buhay ko. So, I need your help. Um, let me know anong mas gusto ninyo. Gusto nyo ba na okay lang ba sa inyo na nandito na lang sa Team Laika lahat ng mga videos ko or ayaw nyo rin talaga ng mga ganong mga personal stuff. Kasi kung ayaw ninyo, I will just uh, move all of those dun sa aking like a Maravilla na original channel, yung lumang channel. Doon ko na lang ilalagay personal. So, what do you think? Alright? So, let me know. Um, yun, para, para alam ko. Yung iba naman kasi, nag-reklamo rin kasi sabi nila, mas gusto nila na sa team like na lang lahat para doon na lang doon sila lagi pupunta. So, hindi ko talaga alam kung anong gusto ninyo. <laughs> so, let me know uh, kung gusto ninyo na may halo na vlogs or personal advice or alam nyo, yung mga lifestyle videos yung ating Team Like Up channel or gusto nyo puro lessons lang. Yan, so let me know. Uh, comment na lang kayo. Okay, I'll read your comments later. No? Okay, so there are 33 of you watching. Hopefully, if... Um, okay, sabi ni Donna, dito na lang po lahat. Okay, sige, I'll put that into consideration. Um, medyo mahirap din kasi mag-maintain ang dalawang hiwalay na channel. Oo. Kasi minsan nauulit yung tanong. Katulad na may nagtanong sa akin kung paano mag-move on. Actually, nas, na, ano ko na, na nasagot ko na yun in my other channel. So, baka ilipat ko na lang doon. Okay. <laughs> Sabi ni Lloyd, okay lang daw. Alright, sige. I'll, I'll think about that. Um, sayang din kasi kasi some of you guys, when I meet you outside, lalo na kung nagbo-vlog ako, tapos nakita ko kayo. I love seeing you there. So, mas maganda siguro nga rin if I put it here na lang. Alright. We're going to start in a bit. I'm just going to set up yung aking uh, presentation. So, ganito, again, ang gagawin natin is, this is a kind of a trial run sa ating possible na gawin for the online review program pag nag-start na yung review preparation mismo. Uh, hindi pa kasi nagsa-start talaga kasi March 18 pa ang exam, medyo malayo pa. So, ang, I will also announce the details for the online review program in this stream today. Yeah, tonight. Alright? Sige. Um, yung mga wala pang mga notebook or pen or anything like that, go ahead and get it para makasolve kayo with me, no? Kasi ang gagawin natin, we're going to try to make this as interactive as possible. So, um, I'll just give you time while I'm setting this up and then you can um, get your things so we can start, alright? Alright, let's do this. Okay, so ito yung ating live study session for today, November 15, 2017. Like I said, if you guys want this and if this works out, I'll keep making more. Um, para, yun, para makapag-meet tayo at least once a week kahit sa malayo kayo. So some of you, sabi ni Jake, galing pa siya ng MSE Jensen. So wow, that's really far. 
So, I'm happy when I hear na may mga ganong klaseng kwento na there are people na nasa ibang mga place who can still follow along with us. Yes, there are times na I feel tired. Or t- yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Usually kasi pag may mga YouTubers, ginagawa nila to, may kasama sila, no? Ako lang yata yung solo flight. Andali ah, magtatanggalin ko lang tong webcam part na to para hindi kayo madelay. Magkaka problema. Ayun. All right. Yan. Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen na yung aking PowerPoint presentation? Okay. Ang uh, goal kasi natin, kaya I do it like this, is para makita ninyo yung uh, mga pangyayari. Yan. Okay. Mapakita ninyo yung actual na pagsisolve ko ng mga bagay-bagay. Bigay-bigay. Para hindi kayo malost. Okay? So, when I do my live review events, then that's how I do it. I write on top of the PowerPoint presentation para makita ninyo yung kung paano ko siya actually isinold. So, I'm trying my best na maging same din yung format for this. Um, review session kahit na nasa malayong lugar kayo. Alright, let's do this. So, mag, uh, we're going to talk about each problem kasi yun nga, some of you still get it wrong and I understand that. Um, kasi talagang medyo tricky ang age problems. Uh, when it comes to age problems kasi maraming masyadong factors na kailangan i-consider. Um, kasama na doon yung uh, klase ng mga uh, set up, ano yung mga algebraic equation na kailangan nyo i-master, ano yung mga math uh, rules that you have to follow, ganyan. But actually, mad- madali lang talaga siya if you really know the technique. So, here's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you first kung ano yung traditional method ng um, pagsosolve ng uh, equation na ganito. And then, I'm going to show you yung table technique ng life. Kasi I already made a video on this. Actually, I made a few already. Pero, if you haven't seen those yet, go ahead and watch them uh, when you get the time. Kasi, actually, hindi talaga siya ganun kadali. Kaya nga, ang nangyari is, I, I'm thinking of, I'm, I'm thinking of taking this out of the live review kasi nauubos yung time dito. And then, I'm just going to make more videos para mas madali nyo itindihan. Kasi, ang maganda sa videos is, pwede nyo ulit-ulitin. Pag sa live kasi, yun, basta message lang yun, tapos wala na ako. Alright. So, ito muna yung tanong natin. Medyo kahawig ito nung question na pinost ko sa ating Facebook page this week. Sabi, Billy is 2 years older than Charlie. And 24 years, Charlie's age will be thrice Billy's age now. How old is Charlie today? Okay? So, again, if you um, don't know how to solve this, it's going to be tricky for you. But, if you know how to solve it, it's really, really easy. So, ang gagawin natin would be this. I'm going to show you the traditional method and then I'm going to show you yung faster technique. Ngayon, when you look at age problems, there are two things that you need to consider. Yung tao, ilan yung tao na pinag-uusapan and that would make up yung rows sa isang table. Kasi yung table niyo is necessary for you to solve the problem. Um, if you don't know how to solve that, how to draw your table, it's going to be very hard for you to understand yung mga concepts at kung paano ilalagay yung equation, paano kukunin yung equation. So, again, you have to know kung ilan yung tao. So, in this case, ang tao natin, we have Billy and Charlie. So, one and two. So, ang tao ay dalawa. You have two rows sa iyong table. Yung ano naman, pangalawang thing that you have to consider is the time period. That would make up the columns sa iyong table. Kung ilan yung columns doon, magdedetermine ang kung ilan yung uh, time period sa question. Now, dito papasok yung English. Kailangan mo malaman yung tenses. Okay? Ito yung clue mo kung an- ilan yung mga columns or ilan yung time period. Kasi kung ilan yung tenses doon sa tanong, yun yung dami din ng time period. Now, paano natin malalaman yun? You have to look for keywords. Ano yung keywords natin? If you look here, sabi, Billy is two years older than Charlie. That is one sentence kasi may period. You look at the word is. Okay? Pag sinabing is, yan ay present tense. Okay? Present tense. So, yan yung first na time period natin. Pinag-uusapan yung present tense. Okay? Ngayon, meron tayong in 24 years and then you also have the word will or will be. Pag sinabing will be, ang tense natin is future. Okay? And ang nakalagay is in 24 years. Ibig sabihin, ng in 24 years na will, it is in the future, that is going to be 
Kung kunyari, 2017 ngayon, plus 24. Kung 2000 ngayon, plus 24, sorry, it's going to be 2024. You have to look at it that way. Kaya nga, again, it's hard pagdating sa mga word problems kasi akala natin minsan nakatakas na tayo sa English. Diba? Yun pala hindi pa. <laughs> Yun pala, nagsisimula pa lang ang kalbaryo natin sa English kasi meron din palang English sa math. So that is usually the reason why a lot of people have a problem with the civil service exam or other aptitude tests. Kasi akala nila, di ba, ibig sabihin, ay magaling ako sa math, hindi ako magaling sa English. So okay na yun. But really, that's not the case. You have to be good at both. Kasi if you're not good at both, you're going to have a hard time adjusting to all of the questions na ipabato sa atin. So, ilang time period you have present and your future, which is in 24 years. Ngayon, um, looking down, meron pa bang iba? Etong now, it's the same as present tense, di ba? Kasi yung now is ngayon din. Sa Tagalog noun. So, hindi, hindi, hindi yan babago. You have one and two. Dalawang time period. Ngayon, yung next sentence, how old is Charlie today? Again, is at saka today. So, present tense pa rin yun. So, ang time period natin, dalawa din. We're going to start with the basics muna. Dalawang tao at dalawang time period. So, ang table mo would look like this. Okay? Nilagay ko na na ganyan kasi pangit ako mag-drawing ng, uh, <laughs> ng table minsan para hindi kayo magreklamo. Um, I'm going to just fill in the information dun sa ating table. Alright? So, how do you do that? You're just going to write. Okay? Nagaling ko lang tong uh, sumobrang letters na ito para hindi tayo masyadong mahirapan doon. And I'll move ko tong future. Baba natin siya. Future. <laughs> yeah, future tense. So, you have two uh, rows and two columns. Yung columns natin ay yung time period. Yung rows natin ay yung uh, tao. Again, if you're not comfortable na naman with the columns and rows, ang column, isipin ninyo yung mga, alam niyo yung mga Parthenon sa Greece, yung mga building na ganyan, di ba? If nanood ka ng Hercules or anything na period piece, di ba? Column, ang tawag dyan dito sa mga nakatayo na yan ay column. Yan, yung mga ganyan, column. So, ang column nakatayo. Okay? Ang row ay nakahiga. Pahalang. Okay. Now, two rows, to, two columns. Yung, yung tao muna pag-usapan natin. Sino yung tao? You have Billy and Charlie. Again, this is the traditional method, ha? Ito yung old school math method. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin next, we're going to talk about yung time period na. Okay? And then, yung time period natin, you have your now, which is your present, and then you have your future or in 24 years or plus 24. Ngayon, bakit siya naging plus 24? Kasi nga, it's in the future. What you need to understand would be, okay, Habang dumadagdag yung taon in the future, gumagalaw yung timeline, nagdadagdag ka. Okay? Nagdadagdag ka again and again. Alright? So, anong gagawin natin? What you just need to do is to plot yung information dito sa table na ito. This is where it's going to be tricky if hindi ka masyadong maalam pagdating sa algebra. Kasi kailangan natin maglagay ng mga x dito sa equation na ito. Okay? Ngayon, most of the time, pag sinabi na how old is Charlie today, ang ibig sabihin nun, kung sino yung nahanap, which is Charlie today, that becomes your X. Okay? Kasi nga, di ba, sabi natin lagi, sa math, hinahanap ang X. Although, sa totoong buhay, hindi. Okay? So, kung si Char how old is Charlie today, ang X natin, ito yun, Charlie, today or now. So, kung saan nagtatagpo itong dalawang bagay na yan, this and this, yan, yan, itong meeting point nila yung gitna na yan, Dito, dito natin nalagay ngayon yung x natin. Yan, dyan ang x. Alright? And then, what we're going to do next is try our best. Try our best to basically add as many information as possible dito sa tables natin. Okay? Ngayon, babalik tayo dun sa sentence. Sabi, Billy is 2 years older than Charlie. So, ang kung naguguluhan kayo doon sa kung sino ang mas matanda, sino ang mas bata, I would ask you na tagalugin mo siya, tagalugin mo siya. Si Billy ay dalawang taon na mas matanda kay... Charlie. Okay? So, sino ang mas matanda? Si Billy. So, kung si Charlie ay X years old, si Billy ngayon becomes X plus 2 years old. Ngayon, yung naiwan doon. Naiwan. Coach, naiwan ako. Bakit naging X plus 2? You have to think of math in the practical sense. Ibig sabihin nun, imagine nyo totoong tao si Charlie tsaka si Billy. Kung kunyari, kunyari lang ha, si Charlie ay, uh, um, gawin natin siyang... 
30 years old. Kaya 30 years old si Charlie. Dalawang taon mo sa tanda si Billy. Ilang taon si Billy? 32, di ba? Kasi anong ginawa natin? Dinagdagan natin ng dalawa. So that's basically the same thing. Dahil X siya ngayon, X plus 2 ngayon si Billy kasi dalawang taon ang tinanda ni Billy sa kanya. Kasi ang nilalagay natin dito sa mga boxes na yan are the ages itself, yung mismong edad nila. Okay? Again, when you move pa right, dadagdagan. When you move pa left, nababawasan. Okay? In this case, walang pa left na movement, so hindi na natin yan gagalawin. Dito na tayo sa pa right. Again, pupunuin natin yung information as much as possible. Kung si Charlie ay X ngayon, ilang taon siya in 24 years, plus 24 lang. So, ang magyayari, X plus 24 si Charlie in 24 years. Si Billy naman, ilan? Okay? Kung X plus 2 siya ngayon, ang gagawin mo lang ay dadagdagan mo rin siya ng 24. So, X plus 2 plus 24 or following rules natin sa algebra, pwedeng X plus 26 na lang. Okay? Yan na yung age ni Billy doon sa context ng problem natin. Okay? Now, what else do we need to know? Ang sabi, in 24 years, Charlie's age will be thrice Billy's age now. Okay? So, nasan yung age ni Charlie? Ito yung age ni Charlie ngayon. Palitan ko lang yung pen ko para makita ninyo for emphasis. Okay? Sabi, Charlie's age will be, okay, in 24 years, nasan yun? Ito yun. Charlie's age in 24 years will be thrice, ano yung three times of Billy's age now. So, nasan yung Billy's age now? Ito naman yun. Billy's age now is X plus 2 years old. Okay? Ngayon, Ano yung i-multiply mo sa 3? Tagalogin natin uli. So, in 24 years, yung age ni Charlie ay magiging thrice ng tatlong beses ng edad ni Billy. So, ano ang edad ni Billy ngayon? Billy's age now. Ang age ni Billy now ay x plus 2. I-multiply lang natin yan sa 3. Pag tinimes 3 mo daw, pag tinagalog mo to, tinimes 3 mo yung age ni Billy ngayon, okay, which is x plus 2, it will be or it is equal to the age ni Charlie 24 years from now, which is going to be X plus 24. Alright? Now, again, we're taking this as slow as possible. Okay? Uh, para ayoko kasi na may maiwan sa inyo. But really, again, pag nasanay na kayo dito sa entire pro process na ito, it would be very easy na for you uh, to answer this type of question. So, tsaga-tsaga lang. Okay? Ngayon. Saan usually nagkakaroon ng problema? Okay? Saan usually nagkakaroon ng problema, lalo na if you're using yung traditional method? Pag hindi nyo napansin yung word na now, okay? Palitan ko ulit yung aking pen, ha? Nakalagay kasi dito, Charlie's age will be thrice Billy's age now. Can you see the word now? Yan, now. Ano ibig sabihin ng Billy's age now? Ibig sabihin nun, ang imumultiply mo sa 3 ay yung Billy's age ngayon, which is this. Pag tinanggal mo yung now, Ang mangyayari, in 24 years, Charlie's age will be thrice Billy's age. Pag walang now, ang mangyayari, ang equation mo, again, it's not the case in this problem, ha? Pero if hindi nyo yun mapapansin, or mawawaglit nyo yun, or hindi nyo napansin yung now, ang magiging equation mo would be like this. 3 times Billy's age. Kailan yun? In 24 years. Kasi hindi sinabing now. So, ang mangyayari, ang equation mo changes, it becomes like this. 3 times x plus 24, ay, 3 times uh, x plus 26, okay? Kasi imumultiply mo sa 3 yung Billy's age uh, in the future, in 24 years, which is this. Okay? Is equal to x plus 24. So, this is going to be wrong. This will also only happen if walang now. Eh, kaya lang may now. So, ang equation natin becomes this one. Alright? So, again, be very careful dun sa mga ganong klaseng sitwasyon. You have to spot kung ano yung mga words at lalo na kung ano yung mga keywords. You have to know it and you have to practice it. You have to fail again and again, okay, in order for you to master this. Okay, now we're going to solve down na dito sa ating current equation. So, ang gagawin lang natin is i-distribute natin yung 3 dito sa loob, okay, kasi 3, uh, i-multiply natin x plus 2 sa 3. So, you know, 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 2 which is 6 is equal to x plus 24. Alright? And then we're going to solve it down. Okay? Uh, it's going to be, all of the x's, ililipat natin sa isang side. 
Okay? So, gagawin natin, ililipat natin yung um, x na ito sa kabila. Oh, sorry. Ayan, ililipat natin x na ito sa kabila. 3x minus x. And then, ito namang plus x na ito, ililipat din natin sa kabila. Mag-change din siya ng sign. So, yung 24 minus x. Again, kung naguluhan dito, go and watch my video in, on equalities ha. Uh, dapat by now you know this already. Most people would tell me na parang they would ask questions sa uh, comment section sometimes and sometimes it gets frustrating then for me kasi yung mga answer dun sa questions nila are already in the other video. Do you know that there are over um, 100, almost, and there over 200 videos currently in this channel pa lang. Hindi pa kasama yung dating channel. So go ahead and watch them ha. Iba pa yung mga dinidiscuss ko sa live review at saka sa online review program. Alright. Sob natin to. So this is going to be 2x is equal to 24 minus 6. I'm sorry. 24. Okay. Wait lang. 24 minus 6 that is going to be um, 18. Wait lang. Ano ba nangyayari sa, ang, sa life na ito eh? Sorry. Nag-freeze up yung aking uh, yung aking system. Hello? Yes, there are times na I feel tired, there are times na I get discouraged, and uh, there are a lot of people who ask me why I chose to do this instead of pursuing a successful career in the corporate world. Why did I give up a job that gave me stability, that gave me money, that gave me career progress? And trade that for something na hindi sure, something na hindi stable, something na hindi ko alam kung hanggang kailan ko kaya gawin. Why, why do I do all of those things? I think my goal is simple. The goal is help as many deserving people reach their dreams. And if at the end of the day I can look at myself and say na I did that, that would be enough. That would be more than enough. So yes, this is one team, not because I have a team behind me, but because you are all here. I am team, I'm just your coach, and I'm going to do all I could to help you achieve your dreams, not just for yourself, but for your family. And I'm just grateful that I get to do that. presentation guys, pasensya na kayo. I hope uh, you understand. Uh, again, we're, ano to eh, we're just trying out yung ating system pa. Hindi pa, hindi pa siya masyadong perfect. We're just, um, we're still working on it, no? Um, forgive me. Pero, and actually, the beauty of that is I'm still also going to ask you naman to try to solve it by yourself and uh, you actually did. So, most of you already answered 9. So, sabi ni J. Joe, 9. Sabi ni Ate Anne, Six tas naging nine, so nag change na answer. Donna said nine, John said nine, Mildred said nine. Very good. All right. So tina natin, solve down lang natin yung naiwan na part ng no, ating uh, problem. I'm sorry about that. No, ating problem. Yan. Two x is equal to and then twenty four minus six is going to give us eighteen. 
over to both sides. Kakancel natin kasi uh, mag-divide siya sa 2. I-divide din natin ito sa 2. So, x is equal to 9. Okay, yung naiwan doon, okay, ang sabihin lang noon kasi may dalawang, may 2 sa taas, sa baba, kinancel lang natin para maiwan yung x. And then, yung 18, di-divide din natin sa 2. Kasi dapat kung ano yung ginawa mo sa left side, gagawin mo sa right side. Dapat pata sila. So, the answer, x is equal to 9. Alright? So, again, that is if you know how to solve it the traditional way. Ibig sabihin, gumamit tayo ng algebra, uh, which is yung, yun, yung nakasanayan na natin. Uh, if you learned it in school, this is usually what the teacher teaches. No? Now, I'm, uh, you more me in this, I'm going to show you ang difference if you solve it using yung ating maling equation. Pakita nyo yung equation na ito, right? Sinabi natin kanina, if nawaglit mo yung word na now, ibig sabihin, akala mo ang question is, uh, tanggalin natin yung now, in 24 years, Charlie's age will be thrice Billy's age. Nilag, tinanggal mo yung now, ito magiging ating equation. Okay? Anong mangyayari sa sagot? 9 pa rin ba siya? Okay? Let's try, ah. Uh, I'm going, just going to solve it down for you para makita ninyo if it's really different. So, this is going to be 3x plus, and then 26 times 3, so that is 60 plus 6, 12, 18, 78. Okay? And then we have x plus 24. Ililipat natin yung x sa kabilang side. Okay? And same, ganun pa rin yung proseso natin. So, 3x minus x. Okay? Is equal to, and then we have here, this is going to be a little problematic. 78, lilipat natin sa kabila. 24 minus 78. So, this is going to be... 2x is equal to, and then you have negative, negative 54. O, oh, yan. So, if you divide mo siya sa 2, again, humor me lang, ha? Humor me. Sabi, let me try this out and show you how wrong it is. The answer will be negative 27. Ngayon, ngayon, posible ba na may tao na ang edad ay negative 27? Diba? Walang, walang ganun. There's no such, such thing as that. So, ganun ang difference if you just forget one word, which is yung now. So, you have to be very careful about it. I've had students tell me na parang, Coach, yung sinubukan ko yung ginawa niyo, may nagalit pa nga once eh, sabi niya. Um, niwala ko dun sa tinuro mo, ginawa ko, tapos yung sagot ko, wala dun sa options. Again, don't, don't, don't be mad at me, no. Just um, go back to the question. Usually, if your, op if your answer is not in the options, probably may nawaglit kayo na isang word. Kita niyo to, eto, now lang, di ba? Isang word lang na maliit, tapos may iba na yung sagot. So, you have to be very careful about that, alright? Next that na we're going to do ay gagawin na atin yung ating um, bagong method, yung ating table technique which I teach. Okay? There also, there's also a video on that na rin, so you can go ahead and watch that. Yung table technique natin, if we employ the table technique, it's going to make it a lot easier. Again, same question, but instead of doing yung traditional method natin, what we're going to do is instead is to plot all the information in the table. Okay? Ayan, ang table technique, you can use it if there are options. Okay? Ngayon, kung merong options sa, um, sa, ating, sa ating problem, then you can use the table technique. Okay, wait lang. Mali yung aking options. Wala yung aking sagot, which is 9. Okay? Balita na lang natin to. Gawin natin 9. Okay? Yung isa. And I'll just show you, okay, I'll just show you how... Um, how easy it is if you know the options. Okay? So, again, gawin natin to, gawin natin siyang 9. Ayan. Paano kung meron siyang options? Ano gagawin mo instead? Instead of doing the entire gamot na ito, ito yung ating malaking problema ng equations, ang gagawin natin instead is, we're going to plot the table and then trial and error tayo. Okay? So, bear with me. Again, you have to know kung ilan ang tao at ilan ang time period. That would determine kung ilan ang rows or columns sa inyong table. Again, we're using the same table naman here. Bakit? Kasi same din ang tao. You have Billy and Charlie. Okay? And then you have your now, which is yung zero point natin. And you have in 24 years or yung ating plus 24. This is just the same table. Okay? So again, whether you like it or not, babalikan, babalikan kayo nitong table na ito. Okay. Now, anong kailangan natin gawin? Ang kailangan natin gawin ngayon is to plot all the information na doon sa question. Ang sabi, Billy is 2 years older than Charlie. So, ibig sabihin nun, eto bilog-bilugan technique lang ito. Okay? Si Charlie, kung ito si Charlie, si Billy ay eto arrow plus 2. Okay? Again, bilog-bilugan. 
We don't need to do a lot of things. Lalagay lang natin yung ating information na nalaman na natin dun sa, dun sa ating problem. Kung ano man ang ilalagay mo daw dito sa box sa ilalim, ay ilalagay mo yung uh, plus 2 para makuha may age ni Billy. Okay? So again, um, ano ba? ipakan lang yan. Okay? Instead of um, doing it the traditional way, what we're going to do is gagawin natin na uh, mas madali at mas mabilis para sa atin by using the table technique. Okay? And so, subukan ko pala itaas yung mic ko. Sorry guys, ah. I, I need a new headset. Um, kasi ito ay napagod na. Okay? Um, yan. So, Charlie plus 2, si, yung edad ni Billy. Yun yung ito. First sentence yan. Nasulat na natin yan. Hindi na natin kailangan intindihin masyado. Ngayon, merong second situation. Ang sabi, in 24 years, Charlie's age will be thrice Billy's age now. Mukhang komplikado yung sentence kasi mahaba siya. But really, it's really very easy. Ang gagawin mo lang ganito, ha? Okay, palit ako yung kulay, just for emphasis. In 24 years, Charlie's age. So, yon sino yon In 24 years, Charlie's age. Ito yon In 24 years, Charlie's age, kung ano man yun nandyan, bilugan din natin. Okay? Will be thrice Billy's age now. Ibig sabihin, ito, times 3 naman lalabas, dapat yon So, how old is Charlie today? Sinong hinahanap? Charlie today. Okay? Ito yon Charlie today. Ito ang sagot, yung may box. Okay, ganyan yan. O yan. Again, wala tayong nilagay na X, wala tayong nilagay na kahit ano. Nilagay lang natin yung information na sinabi doon sa problem. So, I'm going to test something that we know is not the correct answer muna. Okay, ang correct answer kasi na solve na natin kanina sa traditional method, ang, ang correct answer natin is 9. Um, yan. So, ngayon, susubukan natin if it still works using the table technique. Okay? I'm going to put a different color here. Let's use green. Okay? Kunyari, let's use 12. Ang 12 ay green. Ang gagawin mo lang ay, mula doon dun sa sagot, which is how old is Charlie today, okay? Which is yung nilagyan natin ng box, ilalagay natin ngayon yung 12 dito. Kunyari lang, kung 12 ito, okay? Tama ba yung magiging sitwasyon? Okay? Um, ang kailangan mo lang ang kailangan mo lang gawin is um, if you fill in mo yung mga numbers dun sa loob ng table. So, kung si Charlie ay 12 years old ngayon, si Billy ay dalawang taon na mas matanda sa kanya. Si Billy will be 12 plus 2 years old. If you notice, sinundan lang natin yung movement nitong araw na to. 12 plus 2 is 14. So, 14 years old si Billy. Ngayon, sabi natin itong Charlie 24 in 24 years has to be times 3 ng age ni Billy. Tanong, ilang taon si Charlie in 24 years? Kung 12 years old si Charlie ngayon, okay, para makuha natin age niya in 24 years, lagi lang natin ng plus 24 yan. Lalabas ngayon ito. The answer here is 36. Okay? Ang next question would be this. Ang 14 ba times 3 magiging 36? Siyempre, hindi. Kasi the answer that there would be 32. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, 12 is wrong. Okay? That is how we do it sa table technique. Now, if you get really fast here, it's really very easy. So, bubuhin ko muna yung 14. Kasi alam natin na hindi na yan ang sagot. Okay? We can choose another one. Okay? Sabihin na natin, gamitin natin yung 11. Kasi sabi natin, ay, sobra yung ano. So, gamitin natin yung 11. I'm going to use yung aking red na pen. For emphasis here. Yung 11, okay? Kung ang sagot natin ay 11, okay? 11 years old si Charlie ngayon. Si Billy will be 11 plus 2 years old, which is 13. In 24 years, si Charlie na 11 ay magiging 35 years old. Yung 13 times 3 ba ano? 13 times 3 is 39. So, hindi pa rin siya tama. So, ibig sabihin nun, hindi rin 11 ang sagot. Okay? Now, we already know, using the traditional method kanina, ang tamang sagot is 9. So, ang gagawin lang natin ngayon, ipoprove natin na tama yung 9. Tingnan natin kung tama tayo. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, ipipil in natin yung 9 here. Kung 9 years old si Charlie, si Billy will be 9 plus 2 years old, which is 11. 9 plus 24 equals 33. So, kung 33 ito, 11 times 3 ba 33? And the answer would be yes. 
So, ibig sabihin nun, tama na tayo. Okay? Ang tamang sagot is that Charlie is 9 years old today. Again, this is what you do if you don't want to do algebra. Kasi ang, ngayon, I'm not saying na kunyari high school kayo. Okay? Huwag na tayo mag-aral ng algebra kasi may mas madali naman palang gawin. I understand why teachers need to teach this. Kasi, lalo na if you need to go into higher math, Diba? If you are going to be a teacher, if you're going to do advanced statistics, or if you're going to do astrophysics, yung mga ganun, kailangan nyo talaga na itong math. But, if you have a hard time with this, I'm giving you an alternative. Ibig sabihin, this is something that you can do instead of that para makuha nyo pa rin yung tamang sagot sa exam. Alright? Kasi yun naman ang goal nating lahat. So, I hope that this was easy, a little bit easier for you guys and I hope this helps you out. Okay? Um, nakuha nyo ba? I'm going to wait sa comments ha, kung nakuha niyo yung, yung concept. Okay? Did you get it? Uh, did you get why 9 ang sagot? Alright, nakuha daw ni John. Okay, sabi ni Mary, masadali po ito. Kuha daw ni Tashima. Good job, guys. Kuha, kuha. Alright. That's great. Now, here's the key. Pagdating naman dito ngayon, ang kailangan nyo nang gawin ngayon is to keep practicing. Okay, you have to keep practicing um, para mas bumilis pa kayo and para mas maging madali pa sa inyo yan. Okay? Now, pagdating sa mas complicated na mga problems, it's going to be the same concept. Okay? And since it's almost um, 10 na ngayon, I'm going to switch over to some of the uh, questions that you sent in. So, yung mga pinadala ninyong questions. So, I'll answer a few dun sa by request. So, mga nagtanong pala si Archibald, usually, usually po ba sa civil service exam, ganyan yung lumalabas na, sa exam na may choices? Yes, may, may choices lahat sa civil service exam. That is why I came up with the idea ng table technique kasi it's really faster than doing math. So, Civil service, madali na yan, walang problema. Pero kung high school kayo at may mga unit test kayo, eh, minsan walang options nun. So, yun lang. Adjust, adjust lang tayo accordingly. Alright? So, um, just a few quick announcements while I'm setting up my other presentation. Okay? There are just a few things that I want to talk to you about. Kasama na yung ating online uh, learning program pagdating sa actual na malapit na yung civil service exam. So, a lot of you were asking kung ano yung setup ng online review program. So, I'm just going to tell you a bit about it. So, inclusions natin sa online re review program. This is the paid review program, ha? Uh, again, you don't need naman to uh, pay. Pero, if you want or gusto nyo ng extra, you can go ahead and join us. This is especially for those na hindi ko mapupuntahan. Kasi, we're going to have uh, yung mga live review events where I go to your provinces pero hindi lahat ng probinsya mapupuntahan ko and also yung mga tao na may work at hindi hindi, uh, hindi makaka-show up for the live review events this is perfect for you lalo na if you have a good internet connection so ang inclusion natin we have a pre-test yung pre-test is parang a mock exam din and then you're going to have yung video lessons including yung exclusive topics like assumptions and conclusions speed techniques um, speed techniques yung math in seconds so how do you solve problems without actually doing any math so uh, yun yung video lessons natin again, this is for the online review program ha? but uh, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop making free videos I'm still going to keep making free videos at least one a week, yun yung promise ko sa inyo diba? Um, this is different pa so iba pa yun sa kanila I'm also going to try to hold uh, actual live review events for them okay so, online quizzes and uh, weekly achievement tests. So, sa online review program, um, bawat lesson sa kanila, merong, uh, merong quiz after, and then my weekly achievement test na parang unit exam. Lahat ng didiscuss dun sa week na yon. Halo-halo na didiscuss ko yung math, English, logic, general information, and stuff like that. So, sa isang linggo, may study plan sila, tas yun yung sinusunod natin. So, ano yun lang, may question daw si Archibald. Yes, sinabi ko na may, may options lahat ng mga questions sa civil service exam. Doon ba yung question? Hindi yata yun. Okay. So, anyway, online quizzes and weekly achievement tests. Again, kasama yan sa package. 
this time we're going to um, it's going to be a 10 week program so pahaba ng pahaba dati 4 week program yung naging 6 ngayon tas naging 8 ngayon 10 10 week program na yung online review program natin so online thesis and weekly achievement test just para makita ninyo if you're are going to uh, pick that up again uh, this is different pa from all the free videos all right this is the paid review program the online review program so after that we're going to have a mock exam a week before the actual exam so march 18 ang exam you're going to have your mock exam ng march 10 which is actually my birthday too so sa birthday ka mag exam kayo um yun yung online review program if you're part of the online review, review program all right now Ang um, announcement ko is, if, and this is for the March 18, 2018 exam. Ang schedule natin is this. Ang registration ng online review program, since a lot of you are already asking at gusto ng uh, makasali kasi last time may mga naubuso ng slot. Uh, again, limited ang slots nito kasi I try my best to keep it a small class kasi uh, as interactive as possible. So I get to email all of you guys personally. Maybe give you a bit of advice kung saang topics kayo. Mahina lahat. So... I keep the slots as limited as possible. So, pwede na kayo mag-register now until all the slots run out. I suggest um, as soon as possible kasi medyo mandagli siya maubos. And we're going to start yung classes natin, ang program natin on, Mar on January 13, 2018. So, that is three months before the actual exam. Oh, yeah. Good. So, oop, no. Yeah. Para mas maraming study time. Okay. So, yun. Um, a few weeks, I mean, more weeks than ever before. We're going to start natin January 13, 2018 program and March 18, 2018. Um, yun. So, all of the links, all of the resources will be available the entire time. So, some people ask me if meron bang oras yung mga discussions sa online review program. Wala. Kasi I pre-shoot all of the videos Kasi most of you are working, so depende sa kung oras kayo pwede, you can access the lessons anytime and the quizzes anytime. Kahit yung mga naiwan na. So, if example, hindi nyo pasasagutan nga sa week 1, pwede nyo balikan yon as long as the program is running. So, kung gusto nyo balikan, for example, yung fractions, kasi medyo mahina kayo doon, pwede nyo balikan ulit yung quiz hanggang ma-perfect nyo siya. Alright? So, um, I love the online review program kasi sa, sa feedback din ng mga students na nakapasa na. Um, pinakamataas yung percentage ng mga people na nag-attend ng live review tapos nag-online review program din sila kasi may practice sila every day so yun yung pinakamagandang benefit nun so ang price natin is 2,000 for the new students kasama na lahat and then may malaking discount for returning online students so kung yan, nag-online review program kayo before tapos hindi nyo siya uh, natapos kasi yung iba nag-enroll pero hindi nakapagsagot ng mga quizzes kasi busy sila bigla sa work you can go back and uh, I'm going to give you a big discount so let me know if you want to join the online review program, you can start paying na uh, as soon as possible so I can save a slot for you. But the program starts officially on January 13. Alright, so that is just the announcement for the online review program. Again, this is the paid review program. Pero, hindi ibig sabihin nun, I'm going to stop making free videos pa. Oh, na. Okay, I'm still going to make a lot more. Okay, so... That's it uh, for now. Um, for any reservations, if you want to save your slot or know how to pay for your slot, you can go to yung Facebook page natin para malaman ko, para malaman nyo kung paano yung payment methods. Yan. Alright, next. Now, this is a, a question sent in by Ate Anne. Ate Anne, I see that you're online, so thank you uh, for being here. This is something that you sent in earlier today. And I'm going to solve it uh, with you guys. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, I'm going to try uh, to make as many by request videos as possible din. Yung mga by request videos, ibig sabihin nun yung mga questions sa pinadala ninyo. Now, I see doon sa aking listahan ng mga uh, videos, kasi nakikita ko yan sa YouTube ko na yung mga marami ang nanonood. Um, yung mga by request videos, not a lot of people watch the by request videos, but actually you should start watching the by request video. Kasi, if you don't watch it, um, you're going to miss out on a lot of things. I discuss a lot of different types of questions there na mga pinadala ng iba yung tao. So, halo-halong algebra questions, minsan mga complicated na word problems or complicated na age problems. Go ahead and watch the by request videos kasi it's going to be very helpful sa inyo. I'm going to put it up on the card na lang din sa taas para makita nyo siya. Uh, it's going to be helpful for you guys kasi nga again, halo-halo siya eh. 
um, lahat ng klase ng tanong may English, may logic pa nga minsan. So, if hindi ko pa siya nag-discuss or nagagawa ng video, may possibility na nandun na siya kahit hindi ko pa siya nagagawa ng video. So, kung gusto nyo makanood na agad, go and watch it. Uh, you can click on the eye dito sa taas ng inyong uh, screen. Nakita nyo yung eye dyan. Click nyo lang yan. Makikita nyo by request. May seven videos na doon. So, watch that later. Alright? Now, sagutan na natin itong uh, pinadalang question ni Ate Anne. Sabi niya, Homer has a certain number of hamsters and birds in a cage. When Homer counted all the animals, there were 35. When he counted all their legs, there were 94. How many hamsters were in Homer's cage? Okay? Now, um, this is actually an animal feet and heads problem. It's also something that I discuss ex exclusively sa ating uh, online review program. Uh, it's, an, it's a whole topic actually. Um, table technique din ang ginagamit ko dito, but um, since wala tayong options, we can't use the table technique in this situation. So, we're going to use yung traditional method natin. Okay? Now, ang kailangan yung gawin dito is use your imagination. Okay? You have to use your imagination. You have to understand kung ano ba ang hinahanap dun sa tanong at uh, i-picture talaga yung naging, naging sitwasyon. Sabi, Homer has a certain number of hamsters and birds in a cage. Binigay yung meron siyang paa, merong legs, at saka merong how many animals. Okay? Ang animals ay 35, ang legs nila ay 94. Now, what do we know about these animals? Yun yung tanong. Kung meron kang uh, 35 animals, at yung iba sa amin ay hamsters, yung sa amin ay birds, pag pinag-uusapan ng paa nila, ang unang tanong mo, ilan ba ang paa ng hamster? So, kung ang hamster, okay, ano ang kanyang, ilan ang kanyang number of feet? Normal na paa ng hamster. Ang normal na paa ng hamster ay 4 legs. Ang bird naman, ang normal na paa ng bird, again, hindi yung pang bida sa rated K, okay, or Guinness Book of World Records, ang number of feet ng birds ay 2. Kasi meron siyang pakpak, diba, yung ating mga pambatang drawing, diba, meron kang bird, yan, diba, yan. Meron siyang pakpak, at meron siyang paa, pero ang paa niya ay dalawa lang. Okay? Doon tayo magkaka... Yun ang magiging susi ng ano na to, ng tanong na ito. Okay? Kung dalawa lang ang paa ng bird at apat ang sa hamster, that will give us a clue sa kung ilan ang hamsters sa cage. Ngayon, ang sabi, okay, ang columns natin would be this. Yung regular na information, hamsters have four feet, birds have two feet, and then you have your heads and your total na feet. Okay? Heads and feet. Bakit natin kinoconsider yung heads or yung animal itself? Kasi, kung ilan ang ulo, okay, sa bawat isang ulo, may apat na paa. Sa bawat isang ulo naman ng ibon, may dalawang paa. Ang hinahanap natin ay kung ilan ang heads ng hamsters. Ilan ang hamsters. This becomes your X. Okay? And then, dahil ang total number of animals x plus this is equal to 35. Okay? Ilan ngayon ang birds? Ngayon, you will require a little bit of imagination here. I'm going to switch over to my, my color ha. Medyo glaring kasi yung red. Okay? Kung 35 ang total ng animals, meron kang x na, na hamsters, ilan ang birds? Okay? I will challenge you to assign a value to your x. Okay? Assign a value to your x. So, kunyari, kunyari lang ha. Kung dari meron kang sampung hamster, ilan ang birds mo ngayon? Common sense will dictate na 25 ang birds kasi nga 35 yung total na hayop. Ngayon ang tanong, saan kinuha ng utak mo yung 25? Ang kinuha mo yun doon sa 35 minus 10. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang number of birds mo is 35 which is the total number of animals minus x. Okay? Again, saan kinuha yun? Kasi... 35 minus x plus x is equal to 35. Okay? Kung gusto yung traditional method, i-check yun. 35 minus x plus x is equal to 35. Diba? Kasi minus x at plus x, magiging 0 yan. So, 35 is equal to 35. Yan yung concept nung in-explain niya ng teacher natin nung high school. Okay? But now that we have this information, madali na natin isolve yung using the, the equation. Paano? Kasi kung apat ang normal na paa ng hamster at meron kang X number of heads ng hamster, imumultiply mo lang ito para lumabas yung feet. 
Ayan, paano mo yun maintindihan? Ganito yun. Kung meron kang apat, eh, kung meron kang apat na paa sa isang hamster at meron kang dalawang ha- hamsters, again, kunyari lang ha, kung meron kang dalawang hamsters, ilan ang paa ngayon? Ang paa nun, eight, di ba? Saan mo kinuha yung eight? Sa four times two. So, yun lang yung ginawa natin. Okay? So, four times two is eight. Dito, four times x is four x. Alright? Ayun, eto, yung birds, two feet nila, two ang feet nila. So, imumultiply lang natin yung 2 sa 35 minus x. And then, we have the feet ng birds. Okay? Or, kung gusto nyo nang i-distribute here, pwede na rin. 2 times 35 is 70. And then, this will be minus 2x. Ngayon, ang sabi natin is that ang lahat ng paa nila ay 94. Which means, pag pinagsama ko ngayon, itong dalawang to, pag pinagsama ko yan, magiging 94. That becomes your equation. Okay? So, anong, anong mangyayari doon? So, sabi lang natin siya. 4x plus, and then you have your 70 minus 2x. sa ang galing yan? Dito, tsaka dito. Is equal to 94. Okay? So, 4x minus 2x. I-arrange lang natin para makita nyo lang. 94. Okay? So, this is 2x plus 70 is equal to 94. Or, 2x equals 94 minus 70. 2x is equal to 24 over 2. We divide that in both sides sa 2. This is going to be x is equal to 12. So, the answer is you have 12 hamsters. 12. Ngayon, how do you check that? If you gusto nyo i-check, Ang gagawin natin is, again, you don't need to do it sa civil service exam, lalo na kung nakita niyo 12 options, no? Pero if you want, or may extra time kayo, you can do it. 4 times 12 is 48. And then you have 35 minus 12, which is going to give you 23. 23 times 2 is 46. And 46 plus 48 is 94. So, check tayo dyan. So, yun yung sagot. Alright? So, again, all of this requires a little bit of practice. Okay? Everything requires practice. Now, uh, I'll just answer a few of the questions that you sent in, no? Habang naghihintay ako ng inyong mga response. Uh, paano mag-register teacher? Uh, hi. Okay. Wait lang. Uh, June, um, send a message to www.facebook.com slash team like para send to sa iyo yung... Uh, process ng payment at saka registration. So, Ate Anne, okay lang yan. Talagang, ano, uh, again, practice. So, but thank you for sending this question in. I'm sure tulungan din sila. Um, they would also learn this because of you sending this question. So, thank you for doing that. So, uh, sabi ni Alex, ma'am, iba po ba ang bayad sa online at saka hindi? O 2K lahat? Yes, iba ang bayad, but I'm going to package it. So, if you're going, ganito kasi ginawa ko last time. Um, last time, again, hindi pa to official ha, kasi depende pa sa venue kung magtataas ng prices. Um, last time, 2,000 yung live review. Tapos, if you also want to join the online review, diniscountan ko 500 na lang dinadagdag nila. So, 2,500 kasama na lahat. Online review program, pati yung live review, pati yung workbook. So, that last time yun. Pero ngayon, dahil medyo mas marami tayong information sa online review program, kasi I've been working on this since last month. Um, it may be a little higher. Okay, it may be a little higher, but I'm going to try to keep it as low as possible then. So yes, iba pa siya sa live, live review. Yung 2K na yan is sa pure online review. Pero if, if magla-live review ka rin, Alex, then you're going to get a bigger discount. Kasi, um, yun, kasama na siya. Okay, Alex, sinaram ko lang CP ko, kunin na naman ari. Sorry, okay, okay lang yan. You can watch it. Guys, you can watch it recorded naman ito. Uh, you can you just have to wait a little bit bago i-upload ng YouTube. Pero, it's going to be available kahit na hindi nyo ito napanood. Or kaya may mga workmates kayo na hindi siya napanood, you can tell them they can watch it then. So, uh, um, Evan Lynn Dakiwag. Salamat na nabuto ko live mo, Ma'am Laika. Hey, Evan Lynn. Oh, you're in South Korea. Anyong! <laughs> hindi, hindi lang alam. <laughs> hindi ako may sa K-pop masyado. But yes, thank you for watching, uh, Evan Lynn. God bless. Hopefully, makauwi ka. Um, I hope you can pass the test so you can come home soon. 
Um, one of my biggest uh, blessings is when people na OFW dati, they get to come home kasi nakapasok ng civil service or license, for example, teachers, so they can get work here para hindi sila malalayo sa pamilya nila. So that's one of the things that I love most about my job. So uh, there was actually one person, I post ko yung testimony niya really soon, hindi ko pa kasi na-edit yung picture. Um, nakapasa siya sa licensure, parang licensure exam for teachers sa Saudi. So, kakalabas daw ng results. So, I'm so happy for him kasi makaka-uwi na siya. So, yun. Makakasay na siya here for good. So, those are the things that make me really happy. But really, I'm here to help you guys pero it's really you then who put in the work. So, thank you for doing that for yourself. Ayan. So, uh, hi Ate Anne. They really make a difference. I, yes, coach. Hindi ka yung consistency and practice. Yes. Kailangan po talaga ng maraming maraming pra- practice kasi pag isa-isa lang or if I'm solving it with you, sometimes it seems easy, but uh, pag wala na daw ako, minsan nahihirapan daw sila. So, kasi ang susi dun is personal practice. The more that you practice by yourself, the more confidence you get. Alright, so we're going to switch again. Uh, there is another question that I want to answer. I'm going to sw- shift gears. Lipat naman tayo sa, uh, lipat tayo sa language. Alright, we're going to talk about a language problem. Now, uh, before we do that, just a little bit of, ano ba, parang help na rin natin sa kanila. There is something I want to talk to you about. This is going to be on Saturday, November 17, 7 p.m. CCCF Commonwealth, 2nd floor, Berkeley Square Mall, Commonwealth Avenue, Quezon City. This is dun sa, may Robinson sa may flyover sa Tandang Sora. Uh, merong concert yung Laban Ses. This is a benefit concert for Princess Donina. Uh, she's one of the kids sa uh, Elevate or sa youth ng uh, CCF Commonwealth and uh, she actually had a brain surgery nasa ICU pa siya ngayon so they need a lot of funds for her and her hospital bills and uh, you can help out by attending this concert so I will try to be there I'm not sure if I could uh, kasi I'm going to be coming from uh, City of Dreams for yung blog Blogapalooza na summit uh, but I'm going to try to be there. So if you're going to be there, let me know para makikita tayo. Uh, if you want to help out, go ahead and attend this event. Kasi they really need a lot of help. So I would love for you to be there. Maybe see me there. Uh, hang out tayo. Let's have a burger or coffee after. Alright, so that's it. Uh, we're going to answer another question. This was sent in by one of you guys. Language question naman siya. Okay. Mm, click lang sa mga messages. Evanly, next speaker pa po, pero di ko mabutan ang exam. Uh, that's okay, Evanly. The longer time that you have to review, the better. Just keep stud- studying para pagdating mo dito, ready, ready ka na. Uh, Mary Lisa Balansag, Coach Las, exam po ba majority ng picks sa online pa- sa'yo pass sila? Yes. Most of them passed. Siyempre, hindi naman lahat, pero uh, marami sa kanilang nakapasa. Kasi nga, ang thing naman kasi sa online review program, if you don't study, it's going to be hard din for you to pass. Kasi kahit na nandyan yung quiz ko, hindi nyo naman tinetake, di ba? Parang pagkain, kung di mo siya kinain, hindi ka rin magbusog. So, yun yung mga things. Pero yung mga people na masipag talaga, as in yung nakikita ko, nagko-comment, nagko-quiz araw-araw, uh, yun, makapasa naman na sila, most of them. Okay? So, yun. Ang thing kasi, you have to understand na all of the things that I do, all the things that we do, these are to help you out. Pero, ano eh, depende talaga yan eh. At saka, depende rin kung kalooban talaga ng Diyos na magtrabaho kayo sa gobyerno, no? Um, but really, it's a lot of it is up to you kung nagpa-practice talaga kayo. Alright. So, salamat ko. Sana nakatulong po yung tanong kasi wala pa po siyang video. Yes, Ate Anne. Kasi hindi ko pa ginawa ng video, ng free video lesson yung animal heads and feet. I'll try to do that. Ipipila ko na lang. Okay. So, pag-usapan pan- natin itong question sent in by Lex Lagon Charm. Okay? So, hindi siya pa yung office. Hindi naman siya niya totoong name to. Pero ito yung Facebook handle niya. So, ito nilagay ko. The question is, rumors about the wedding blank had come or came out when people blank saw or had seen them together in the church. So this is a tense problem. And actually what I did was, because I answered this and then I consulted with Diane, who is my co-author dun sa ating reviewer for the college entrance test exam. Um, and she's also, she also helps me with the language uh, arm ng Team like a Civil Service Review. Uh, kasi I'm very, uh, ano ba? I'm very confident. Hindi naman very. I'm, I'm very, ano ba yun? Experienced na when it comes to teaching 
math, but language not so much. Kasi wala masyadong technique sa language. I try to make it as easy as possible pa. So when I have questions, I consult to her para rin hindi ko kayo madidisappoint. So I make sure na lahat ng mga ginawa ko questions ay tama. So I sent this question din to her to confirm kung tama yung sagot ko and she agreed with me. Kasi ang problem dito sa tanong na to is actually a Filipinism. So I always use that term. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, no? But in Filipinism, kasi ang ibig sabihin nun, these are things na um, dahil Pilipino tayo and we are speakers of English as a second language, akala natin tama, pero actually mali. Um, and ang pinakamalaking Filipinism is mahilig tayo sa have tsaka had. Okay? Now, if you notice in this problem, meron ka kasing had. Yan yung had come. Yan, tsaka yung had seen. And a lot of Filipinos, they use the word had anywhere. <laughs> Actually, they like they like using have or had sa mga sentence kasi parang tunog matalino daw kasi mas maraming letters. Um, for example, instead of see, saying na, okay, let me just change my in color here. Instead of see, saying na I saw a bird, most people would say I have seen a bird. Okay? kahit na hindi siya kahit na hindi siya appropriate dahil yung have seen sounds smarter daw so um yun yung problema yun yung nagiging issue usually kasi dahil na sanay na tayo na ang mga people think na ang smarter option is yung may have or may had or minsan din sinasight natin yung gumawa ng tanong sa sabi natin ay masyado kasi madali kung simple yung tense na sagot baka nilagay nila had kasi Maka, para magkamali ako. Yung mga ganun, masyado yung in-overthink yung tanong. You would not think na ang tamang sagot is I saw a bird lang. Kasi masyadong simple eh. We tend to complicate things kasi akala natin yun yung tama. So, anong solution dyan? You have to break down yung sinasabi talaga ng sentence. Ano ba ang layunin ng sentence? Diba, uh, when I discussed yung tenses natin, again, again, I already made a video on that, no? So, i-click nyo na lang sa taas. I'm going to link it here. Lagay ko na nga dito. Ililink ko yung aking videos on tenses. Na-cover ko na yan, you have to look at both the time period and the intent. So, you have to imagine the sentence, okay? So, isipin nyo maigi kung, kung kasama siya or pasok siya. Uh, you have to picture it. Imagine nyo talaga may mga tao na pinag-uusapan, okay? So, um, in this case, sabi, rumors about the wedding had come or came out when people saw or had seen them together in church. So, ganito ang gagawin natin. I-try mo siyang imaginein. Ano itsura niyang sitwasyon na yan? May rumors daw. Ano yung rumors? Chismis. Rumors about the wedding. Basically, blank out or lumabas. When people nakita sila together in the church. Okay? So, anong, anong question dito? Anong kailangan mo malaman? Ang kailangan mo malaman ay kung kailan at ano ang nauna. Ngayon, if you use the term had come with the word had ang ibig sabihin nun tapos na na nakarating na okay so in this case if you say rumors about the wedding had come out ibig sabihin nun yung chismis nakalabas na nung nakita sila ng mga tao together in the church but when you say when Ibig sabihin nun, it's at the same moment. Okay? Same time. Ibig sabihin nun, sabay na lumabas yung chismis, tsaka nung nakita sila. Now, if you think about it, okay, that makes sense. Kesa dun sa lumabas na muna yung wedding, tapos kasabay, eh, yung rumors, kasabay nung nakita sila sa simbahan. Diba? Diba? Kasi yung timeline mo, okay, if you look at it, timeline, okay, kung, kung when ang pinag-uusapan, ibig sabihin, dito sa isang moment na ito, dyan nangyari yung kasama na yung lumabas yung rumors, at kasama nung may nakakita sila. Okay? Same, same time kasi when. So if you say na, Rumors about the wedding had come out when people saw them together in the church. Ibig sabihin nun, 
hindi na siya nangyari at the same time. Now, if you say naman na rumors about the wedding had come out when people had seen them together in the church, then your sentence has no point. <laughs> Kasi yung had na, na word, it turns the sentence into something of an intro. Ibig sabihin nun, may nangyari before something happened. Okay? They had already been friends for two years when the issue erupted. Ibig sabihin nun, may nangyari na before. I had arrived. Okay? I had arrived before he got here. Ibig sabihin na nakalating na ako bago siya dumating. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng had. So in this case, this is actually really simple. And this is something na ginagawa ko rin when I teach English. No? I, 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 um, I use the simplest answer as the correct answer. And most people still get it wrong. The correct answer here is, rumors about the wedding came out. Ibig sabihin lumabas yung rumors of the wedding. Came out. No, or at the same time, or around the same time, or at least um, a little after, when people saw them in, together in the church. Kasi nauuna naman na nakita sila bago lumabas yung rumor. Or almost at the same time sila. Okay? Ngayon, kailan siya magiging had come? Okay? It can become had come if, I'm going to change my pen color just for emphasis, you can answer had come if ang nakalagay dito is not when. But ang nakalagay is by the time. Okay? Kung ang nakalagay dito is by the time, then it will make sense na ang sagot mo is had come. Kasi ang ibig sabihin nun is rumors about the wedding had come out by the time people saw them together in the church. Ang ibig sabihin nun, yung chismis nangyari dito. Yung chismis nangyari bago sila nakita. Kasi had come out before they were seen together. Bakit? Kasi, this is because of the term by the time. Na hindi when. Alright? So again, itong advice ko sa inyo, if for example, nakakita kayo ng ganitong klase ng tanong sa exam, stick with your guts. Keep it simple. Always keep it simple. Kasi, ang mga test makers, they would just make it simple na lang. Kasi mas marami pa, sa totoo lang, yung mga experience din, mas marami pa yung nagkakamali doon sa simple kesa doon sa complicated. Kasi lahat ng tao, kala nila, basta complicated yun yung automatic na sagot. Alright? So, that's that for that question. Um, again, just a few reminders. Okay? I already posted a poll for the name ng ating uh, bagong baby na MacBook Pro. So, if you want uh, to go ahead and check that out, go ahead and vote. So, most people already voted Steve. So, kung ayaw nyo na Steve ang maging pangalan niya, go ahead and cast your vote um, para makapi kayo ng gusto niyong pangalan for the MacBook Pro. Another announcement, uh, again, direset ko na po camera ko para makita niya kay Fez. Hindi ako nag-jacket for nothing naman para makita niyo ako kahit papano. Kahit medyo nag-blink-blink tayo, just be patient. Sana mawala yung blink. Um, yan, yung mga para sa mga late na nakarating, a few... Announcements, ang reviewers natin uh, will be shipped out. Ang next shipping date is on Friday. Tomorrow ang cut off for the next batch of shipping. Next week, I'm going to be in Malaysia. So, I'm not going to be able to ship out on Friday next week. We're going to have to have yung shipping natin a little earlier. Uh, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, another thing that I want you guys to know is we are going to, and this is a bit of a big announcement, we're going to finally launch yung ating Team Laika Facebook group. If you're not yet a member, go ahead and uh, um, mag-send kayo ng invitation to join that group. Wala pang laman yung group right now kasi matagal pa yung exam. And I want to curate everything. Tsaka we're going to start pag marami na kayo. Kasi right now, there are around 200 or 300 people pa lang there. Pag nandun na kayo lahat or marami na kayo, at least nasa thousands kayo, we can start with the program. Sayang kasi kasi ang nangyayari sa groups usually is namimiss ng mga tao yung ibang mga posts. So, hindi ko pa siya masyadong dinadami. Hindi ko pa nalalagyan ng mga laman kasi baka ma-miss nyo lang din siya. Okay. So, another thing. Uh, Na-announce ko rin kanina. When we hit 15,000 subscribers in the channel, uh, magpapamigay ako ng review package. So, if you want na mag-reach tayo na, and makakuha noon, uh, if you want to join the raffle, uh, share the channel with your friends. We'd love to grow. Uh, bago tayo mag-start ng proper review program, sana mas marami na kayo para tuloy-tuloy na tayo after that. 
So online review program, again, like I said, it's going to start on January, but you can start um, joining as soon as now para mas save yung slot for you guys. Another, things on, another thing on Saturday, I'm going to be away. Uh, kasi may, may panel ang blog of Palooza City of Dreams sa, man, sa Pasay. Please pray for me kasi I'm going to be talking and I'm not sure kung gaano karami ang tao doon. Maybe makamabot ng thousand. So, medyo natatense ang lola ninyo. Um, but please pray for me na maging okay naman lahat. Um, yun. So, that's it muna for now. Uh, please pray for me and my health and everything that's going on right now. Uh, there are a few other things that I want you to know. Uh, habang nauubos ang mga tao. <laughs> I would like to, to, I'd like to, you to know. Um, this is a bit of a disclaimer then. If you notice, I've been taking it slow. And so, it's a little serious. I've been taking it slow the past few weeks. Ibig sabihin, hindi ako natataranta pag may nag-message. Uh, and I'm happy naman kasi you've been very patient with me. But uh, just so you know, kung hindi nyo pa alam, I do everything here. So as you can see, itong ginagawa ko. Ako nagsiswitch ng mga camera, ako yung nag-ayos ng lahat. Gumagawa ng tanong, and nagpiprint and uh, everything else. Papa ship with the help of my family. Um, but it's taking a toll on me. Now, if you're not aware of it, if you don't, if you don't know uh, Will Dasovich, he's actually one of the most successful YouTubers here in the Philippines. And he was diagnosed with cancer a few months back. And uh, of course, it could be na factor siya pa genetics niya because his father also had cancer. But um, factor din yung health, uh, toll sa health sa YouTubers. Kasi a lot of what we do, we do online and we barely sleep. Uh, we barely sleep, we travel a lot, and we stress ourselves out. So I've been trying to make healthier choices. Uh, if you notice then, I'm uh, being very careful about my weight. I usually lose weight kasi when I'm stressed out. And lalo na pag review season, you would see me pag first review season, medyo mat- first review ng season, ibig sabihin na mga malayo pa exam, medyo chubby pa ako. Kasi I packed the pounds, tapos habang lumalapit na exam, naubos yung weight ko. And I've been trying to live a little healthier this time, trying to sleep at least at 12 midnight. Um, para lang maiwasan yung health issues. Kasi I, I, I can't lie to you guys, I feel, I feel the toll on me. I feel weak, I feel um, bad, and um, there are certain things that I have to be aware of. Kasi... Um, Lately, I, I bruise, okay, Nagpap, nagpapasa ako. Uh, yun. It does usually happen, especially pag malapit na yung uh, yun naman, monthly na dalaw ng ladies. But um, now, even if I've just had my period or if hindi, if hindi pa, uh, I would see big bruises on my legs or on my arms. And that usually means, and on my back. So what that usually means is that there's a problem with your blood. Either mababa yung dugo or mga ganun. So, I'm afraid of that possibility because, um, alam nyo naman, masy- medyo sakitin talaga ako. Um, that's also why I had to leave my my job when I was working full-time. Kasi dati, nag-work ako sa BTO company, so, napupuyat din kami. Tapos, bumiga yung health ko. So, ayun, kailangan ko mag-ingat about it. So, um, here's the thing. We're going to make a few changes. Uh, I'm going to make as many videos as possible but for you guys. Again, like I said, at least one new video lesson every week. And then yung Sunday motivation natin every Sunday pa rin yun. Tuloy-tuloy tayo kasi I know a lot of you um, send messages and you feel encouraged when I do that. Um, but with me- dun, tayo doon ako magbabago dun sa answering ng messages. Kasi dati, when people message me kahit alas dos ng madaling araw or anytime actually, anytime tutunog yung cellphone ko, bumabangon ako para to answer your questions. But I need to prioritize my health then. So thank you for understanding it. I will not be able to answer uh, messages that you send in late. So I try my best ngayon. Try my best ngayon na kunyari uh, 11 p.m. cut off na. Ibig sabihin ngayon, hindi na ako magsasagot ng messages past 11. I'm trying to keep decent hours para uh, sa morning, I don't get up ng super aga just to answer the messages. So, if you experience delay sa pagsagot ko ng mga tanong ninyo or sa comments ninyo, please be patient with me kasi ako lang mag-isa. 
So, yun lang hihingin ko sa inyo. Please understand uh, my dilemma. Kasi I also need to take care of my health. I, um, my mom would always tell me, tsaka yung pamilya ko, they would always tell me na parang, nagkaan mo yung sarili mo kasi. Kasi pag hindi mo yung nalagaan yung sarili mo, uh, hindi mo sila matutulungan. And um, usually, tinatawanan ko lang yun. Kasi diba, syempre, pag bata ka, you feel, pag bata ka, you feel invincible, diba? Kaya lang itong lately, nung nararamdaman ko na yung effects sa body ko, it's getting harder for me to to move around, tapos I get tired easily, kasi nga, yung mga bruising and everything like that. And I feel really weak, especially yung aking brain area, itong head area ko. Yung eyes ko are super labo na than before, kasi nga, with making videos and everything na ginagawa ko sa, sa computer, tapos ang sakit-sakit ng ulo ko lagi, nagbe-vertigo na ako, which hindi naman nangyayari dati. So I have to take care of myself then. So I hope you guys understand uh, that. So I'm going to keep hours na rin. Um, if you send messages late at night, hihintayin ko, baka hintayin, you have to wait until the morning na for me to answer your questions. I hope that's okay. Alright, so uh, messages, messages. Um, Mark, Kevin Corpus, Corpus, sana makapasama ni, makapasama, sana mas papasala yung question ko dito, which is assumptions. I'm going to try to do that, sa, not here, but sa next by request video. Um, James Castro, how's the checking sa Ad, Admuset? Automatic din yan. They all, we, they all use Cantrell machines na. So, will it be inserted into the machine? Yes. What's the best eraser? Um, ang suggestion ko kasi for college entrance tests, dahil ballpen pa yan, just buy yung Faber Castell na exam pack nila. Yung, yung eraser doon is really good na. May kasama na yung eraser at sharpener kasi. So, you can buy that na lang. Maganda yung eraser niya kasi nag, nag, ano siya, nag-flake siya. Yes. That's, all, that's always what I use pag when I take tests na paper and pencil. Um, Evan Lynn, first time to watch live, ma'am. Oh, kaka out lang sa work. Hi, um, thank you for watching, even if kaka out lang sa work. I'm, I'm going to try to make as many of these as I could para mas interactive. We be ready with your questions uh, and everything. So, yes, thank you so much for paying for me at the end. Um, thank you, thank you, Ren, for telling other people about the channel and for your visit last time. Uh, I, I value all of you guys, talaga, all of your well wishes. Sabi ko nga, one thing, siguro, I think na really not, keeps me going is your prayers kasi looking back no yung lifestyle ko considering my previous health issues um hindi ko alam ko paano nangyayari paano kinakaya talaga ang blessing lang talaga ni Lord na mas mas, mas malakas pa ako ngayon kaysa dati di ba supposedly pag tumatanda ka mas weak ka pero ngayon i'm really really good so thank you for your prayers um i'll try din po yung aking eyeglasses ay uh pinapalitan ko na rin para dun sa aking prescription. So, ate, thank, thank you, ate Evan Lin. Hopefully, I can visit you pala there in Korea uh, before I come home. Uh, me and my sisters are planning to go there next year. Uh, what else? Um, Archibald, pati vitamins, don't forget. Yes, I have my vitamins. Funny lang kasi vitamins ko pang bata. Uh, although, bariya na yung laman nito, Scots. Lakas baka bata. Gusto ko gummy. <laughs> gummy yung aking vitamin C. Pero aside from that, I have my pills naman. Yan. So, I try my best na alagaan yung sarili ko para sa inyo, guys, eh. Ayan. Each other, the best doctor ko for my headaches. Yes, especially with sugar-related. Kasi ang, may bisyo ako na I don't work until I... I don't work. I don't eat until I finish working. Wala. So, yan. So, thank you, guys. Thank you for um, watching. And uh, if you want me to make more, let me know um, of this. I'll try to hold mga review sessions na ganito with, for specific topics na I feel na very tricky for you guys. So, dun sa mga pinapost ko na videos every lunchtime, yung mga nagko-comment doon, sila Ate Anne, si, nakikita ko kayo, um, si John, nakikita ko rin nagko-comment yan. Uh, keep commenting, kasi pag nakita ko na, okay, maraming tao ang nagkakamali sa topic na ito, I will talk about it dun sa next nating live na event. Okay? So, that's going to be our pattern. So, God bless guys. Uh, Mag-sign off na ako kasi 10.30 na. So, we have to be in bed then. Tsaka yung mga may work pa tomorrow. Uh, or my work na, kasi may pasok na tomorrow. God bless sa inyo guys, and as always, di ba, like I said, agile na kayo niyan. God bless you guys, I'm, you're always on my, uh, in my prayers then, and uh, I love you, and thank you for all your prayers and support. I'm really happy that I get to do this for you guys. Um, hopefully, di ba, 
if I keep myself strong, I can keep doing this for more of you pa. That's always the goal naman. So, thank you and I'll, I hope to see you in the next uh, live review like this or maybe in one of the actual live review events if we were going to attend there. By the way, I'm going to put up a poll then tomorrow. Ay, nais na kasi namin yung mga venues for the live review events. Ito yung mga probinsya na lumalabas na sa radar ng mga posibilidad na puntahan ko. I may. Okay, hindi pa to sure ha. So, let me know kung anong gusto nyo mga probinsya puntahan ko. We have Naga, Bacolod, Cebu, Davao, Baguio, Zambales. So far. So, yun yung mga pinag-iisipan. Naga, Bacolod, Cebu, Davao, Baguio, Zambales. I would love to go to Cebu kasi marami daw yata kayo dyan. At uh, saka, ang huli kong punta kasi sa Cebu was 2006 pa. So, matagal na ako hindi nakakain ng lechon sa Cebu. Tsaka ng sinugba. So, ng, uh, ng barbecue. So, I want to go to Cebu then. Uli. So, that's it. Ayan. Rahabo, can you make a video on how to conduct a research or a case study? I'll try po. Uh, pero I already made a video on how to write a good paper. That could be helpful muna for now while I work on that. Sa research kasi medyo mas... Ano ba? Medyo... Masyado siyang malaking, malaking bagay. Kailangan po natin i-breakdown yan. So, I'll, I'll try po. So, God bless. Thank you guys. And, uh, yun. Again, vote doon sa mga polls. I'll put up the one for the review event soon. Um, yun. That's it. Exciting yung next na na exam kasi ano yun, sakto yun. Uh, yung huli nating review which is going to be the March 10 is also my birthday. So, halo-halo na na ano na yan. Last year then for my birthday, all I asked kay kay God was na pumasa kayo lahat. So, yun yung going to be my prayer. Alright, so signing off na guys kasi late na. Good night and I love you. I'll see you on the next live review event. If you want me to make more of these, let me know para Yun, kasi kung marami kayo nanonood, it would be worth my while. Um, I don't, yun yung lagi ko tinatanong pag may nag-request ng review eh. Ilan kayo? Uh, hindi dahil sa, sa babayaran nila, but I, I just, I would rather kasi teach a lot of people than teach just one person. Mas marami, maganda, mas, mas, mas marami kayo. So right now, mga average nyo, mga 30 people. And again, if you missed any of the things I talked about, you can go back to this video once it's uploaded na on YouTube. Love you guys. Good night. Good night, Ate Anne. Good night, family. Hi, how are you? See you someday soon. Um, Noel, I'm like, huwag mo nang pansinin naman nag-comment na hindi maganda. Thank you. Thank you, Noel. Yes, uh, na, nasasanay na ako na hindi pansinin yung mga negative comments. Pero, yeah, it does get to me then sometimes. So, th good night, Mary. Thank you for watching, everyone. Ate Anne, Mark, John, Rico, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Alright? God bless you guys. And uh, bye for now. Bye. See you in my next video.